What's going on guys? Apathetic here and today I'll be reviewing the Kindled Orchid. Now in this video I'll cover the role I received on mine, the role I'll be grinding for, and how this weapon performs in the Crucible. And if you guys enjoy the video make sure to leave a like rating below. With that, let's get into it. Now this weapon is obtained by doing the Go Fan and Forge and completing a hand cannon weapon frame from Ada 1. The Cannon Orchid is a 140 RPM hand cannon, so the same fire rate as hand cannons like Better Devils and Ace of Spades. Now, it comes with a base recoil direction of 99, so very easy to control, and an aim assist stat of 76. So pretty good stats in those areas right there, guys. Uh, jumping into the roll I got on my Kindled Orchid, uh, mine rolled with Hammer Forge Rifling for that increased range, Appended Mag for increased magazine size, giving me 12 in the magazine, Range Finder, which I'm a big fan of my hand cannons, and Disruption Break, where breaking an enemy's shield leaves them vulnerable to kinetic damage. To be honest, I don't find Disruption Break all that useful in PvP, and for me, and my use in PvP, it kind of feels like a wasted slot. And lastly, I rolled a Stability Masterwork. Now this roll, it's kind of eh. I'm very happy with Hammer Forged for the sight and you know, the increased range and Range Finder, for the increased range as well but other than that i feel perk wise there's a lot left to be desired on the role that i have which leads me into what my personal god roll kindled orchid would be so when you look back at the stats with the aim assist of 76 and a recoil direction of 99 i don't want any any stability perks or stability masterwork on this weapon so for my god roll kindled orchid I would be looking for hammer forge rifling or extended barrel to give me that range I'm looking for. Accurized rounds, keep boosting that range. Range finder, all range all day, baby. And lastly, rampage. And I am telling you guys, I think that role would be disgusting. And I'll tell you why. You're probably like, Appa, why? I don't understand. Listen up, pay attention. Even with the role I have on my kindled orchid, which some may say is not the best, I still had a great time using this weapon. Now I've heard a lot of talk about 140 RPM hand cannons, some people really don't like them, but I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised by how this weapon performed. Because of that 99 recoil control, it's very easy to keep your aim steady and consistent, and that aim assist also makes it so sticky when you're aiming at your opponents, you really feel it. Now combine those stats, with the range perks I listed above, you're going to have a hard time missing with this weapon. And if you are missing, it's probably not the weapon's fault. Let's get real. And the reason that is, is because it already has a high aim assist. Range only adds to that. So with multiple range perks, this could have a very strong aim assist paired with an already strong recoil control. With that, guys, I definitely recommend grabbing this weapon, one of these weapons from the forge. I know I'll be definitely grinding for my own God roll. And let me know in the comments below the best rolls you guys have gotten in your Kindle Orchids. With that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. 